If you use Final Cut Pro for video editing, you're soon gonna realize you're gonna run out of disk space. Even when you thought you had hundreds of GBs of free disk space on your hard drive, sooner or later you're gonna get that dreadful message that you're low on space. And one of the reasons behind that is render files. And render files are temporary files that Final Cut creates so that you can play back uh, in real time your content while editing without any buffering. You can turn off the automatic rendering of files in the background uh, in File Cut and then render your files on demand. Personally, I haven't done that. What I'm gonna show you today is uh, what you can do once you start running out of disk space in File Cut. So let's head over to File Cut and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is select your library and go to File, and library properties. And here under cache is where you see how much space your cache and your render files are occupying. And as you can see, it's a whopping 413 gigabytes. Now what you can do to free up that space is again with your library selected, go to file and then delete generated library files. And here you have a few options. So firstly, you can delete render files. You can delete only the unused files or all files, and you can also delete optimized media and proxy media. Keep in mind, it is safe to delete all of these things. You're not touching your original media. Uh, these are only temporary media files that are created. Even if you delete them and you still need them, the next time you open the project up, it's gonna render these files again. Uh, what I would recommend if, if you are still working on a project in this library, then go ahead and delete only the unused uh, media. However, if you have completed work in editing on all these projects, then you can safely click on all and delete all render files. And watch closely what's gonna happen here. We were occupying 413 GBs and voila that went down to 341 megabytes. So you just got rid of 400 GBs worth of render files. Next thing I wanna show you is if after clearing all the render files, you're still low on space, what you can do is move some of the completed projects you've worked on to an external storage location or an external hard disk. And as you can see here, I already have something called Rowan's Reviews Archive, and this includes all the old projects that I still wanna keep, I don't wanna delete them, but I don't necessarily want them on my computer. To do that, just connect any external hard drive. And what you wanna do is go to File, New, and Create a New Library. You need to select the hard drive or the external hard drive from the dropdown, create a new library. Let me create a new one over here. Rowan's Reviews 2, just as an example. And once you create, let me close this one. Once you create a new library, this is gonna be an empty library. Unfortunately, there's no way to move projects from one library to the other, but what you are gonna do is go to any of the completed projects, right click on that, and then copy event to library, and then select the library you just created, in this case, the ones reviews too. This is gonna copy everything to the other library, so you're gonna have duplicates over here. Once the copying is done, you can go ahead and delete the event and the project from your computer, and then you will retain it on your external hard disk. So as I said, I've already done that for a lot of the uh, projects and I no longer need to have on my computer. And uh, when you do that, you're gonna free up a lot of space from your laptop. Now the third and final thing I wanna show you is even if after you clear all render files, you move all the unused or finished um, events and projects to an external storage and you're still low on storage space. And this actually has happened to me. Um, I have a 512 GB MacBook, which I thought would be enough. I've moved all of my projects to an external um, hard disk but still, when I'm editing even one project at a time, sometimes I have multiple camera angles, so there's multiple feeds of 4K content with the render files. It's gonna grow to 200 and 300 GBs sometimes, which, well, there's no way that's gonna fit on my 512 GB MacBook. 
In that case, you would also want to use an external hard disk, but this time around to run Final Cut from that external storage location. Now here you need to pay attention to one thing. When we copied all our finished projects to an external hard disk, you can use whatever hard disk you want. Speed is not that important. The only drawback is you're going to wait a long time for the files to copy. But when you're running Final Cut from an external location, here it's imperative you use a really fast hard disk, probably an SSD. Anything less than an SSD will give you a very subpar experience. Um, probably rendering is gonna take a long time and even playback and loading files. I don't think it's gonna work. So you would need an external SSD. And by the way, I did a review on the uh, Samsung T7 Shield and the SanDisk SSD. If you haven't seen that, you can click over here to watch that review. I'm actually using the SanDisk SSD. Uh, it's actually connected to my computer. So what you wanna do is again, go to file, new library, and this time around, you select your SSD and create a new library. No ones reviews new. Go ahead and create that. It's gonna be an empty library. Let's go ahead and close everything else again. There's one final thing you need to pay attention to. So again, if you go to the library properties, you need to make sure that your storage location, click on modify settings here, everything is in library. So your media is in library and your cache is in library. If this is not set to in library, then it might be still storing the content on your internal hard disk. As long as you have in library selected, then everything you do is gonna be stored and running from your external SSD. And again, I've been using the external SSD for months now with absolutely no issues, thus by freeing hard disk space on my laptop. I hope this was of help. If it was, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.